Our next guest has taken the B word out of science class. After watching Storm and Bob Swanson's science experiments, one elementary school student said, quote, you weren't boring at all. You weren't even almost boring. And with us now is Storm and Bob, otherwise known as the singing weatherman. Bob, so nice to meet you. Thank you, Kim. I'm very, I'm very pleased to be here. We can hear you singing in the background, by the way. We're playing <laughs> oh, good, some good. of your right. CD. Let me show everybody the CD that we have. Tell me about you okay. and how this came about. And you're really not too tacky jacket. No, uh, first, yeah, I got to talk about my jacket. My wife made this beautiful weatherman jacket. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice baby blue, and it's got a high pressure on my right lapel, low pressure on my left lapel, Good. and of course, very important on the back, the big old storm cloud. With the lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. That propels you along. And has my website, stormandswanson.com. It's always important to get out there. And I like that the AMS didn't mind that you use their, they approve of you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> very good. Now, I go out and I give talks to schools a lot, but right. the one thing I've learned is you have to have props, you have to make it fun, you can't right. have it boring. You're cooking a can of Diet Coke. That's right. What well, is you, this going to prove to everybody? You've been talking all morning about high pressure, right? Right. Well, a lot of times pressure is something that it's tough for people to get their heads around. Uh -huh. So I always relate pressure as being the weight of the air. It's like getting on the bathroom scale. That's the exactly. You know, air yep. is made of real stuff. It's made out of molecules. Mm -hmm. And if you can prove that to yourself by just waving your hand in front of your face, and you can feel your hand hitting stuff. Yes. When you stack those air molecules from the top of your head to the edge of the atmosphere, they weigh down on us at about 14.7 pounds per square inch. That's a lot of weight. That is a lot of weight. Well, I'm going to prove that air can do something by <laughs> using this special can. Okay. And it's just a can, and it's just heating up some water. And kids, do not try this at home. That's right. But I'm heating up water. I'm essentially forcing the air out of the can because uh -huh. I'm creating water vapor inside. You have a little bit of water in A little there. bit of water. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this hot can upside down in a pan of cool water. That's uh -huh. going to let that water vapor condense into liquid water again. And I'm going to be left with nothing inside. I'm going to create an area of very low pressure inside yeah. the can. Outside in the room here, we've got high pressure. And that high pressure air will want to go in mm -hmm. to that low pressure. And, well, we'll so see. we can make a forecast of what might happen to the we'll can, right? We'll see what happens. You know, cross I your have fingers. a forecast of what's going to happen to okay, the can. Should I right. step back? Is it going to be yeah, scary? It'll be just fine. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, it got sucked there in. Go. There we go. So all of that air in there is um, condensing. The, the, right. the, the water in it is condensing, and now there's like taking up less space, and it's getting pushed in by the weight of the air around us. Exactly. So high pressure is going into low pressure. And the, the reason the, the pressure is important, why you report pressure, is because just like a lot of us, uh -huh. the weight changes. Uh -huh. yeah, our weight changes, the weight yes. of the atmosphere changes. Yes. And as the weight of the atmosphere goes up, that's when the barometer reading goes up, and that means high pressure. And as you've been saying all morning, mm -hmm. that means that the air on top of us is sinking. And when air sinks, it's tough for clouds to form. And Usually it gets you get heated. clear skies. Right. Whereas when, it, when the barometer reading is going down, that means the air is getting lighter on top of us, the air is going upward, and of course we get more stormy weather. So that's why you get a big blue H for high pressure on the weather map, red L for low pressure. All right, I'm going to have like 30 seconds to pick your brain really fast. You are uh, making some appearances at public right. libraries. Now, there's one coming up in Burke that we should tell people about, but it's right. practically booked. Almost a you sold out You can try right now because you're a Channel 9 viewer and you're hearing this. <laughs> tell everybody your next appearance and where you're going to be talking. Okay, I've been doing the kind of the circuit of the Fairfax County Schools this summer. I've already appeared uh, in Falls Church as well as in Herndon. Uh -huh. My next appearance is in Burke, and, and I've got two more in September. In September uh, one in Fairfax, one in McLean. Okay. And of course, details about those are on my website, stormandswanson.com. They are free shows, open to the public, but you do have to register for them. Okay. So make sure to call the libraries early. And I do want to mention that half the show is demonstrations, but half of it is my, original, my original weather music. I do play guitar, <laughs> mandolin, banjo, harmonica, great. and some great weather songs. And here it is. All right, well, I would love to pick your brain some more. I'll have more on my blog, too. And of course, here is his awesome CD and can't wait to see how you make your stuff work. All right, we're going to send things back over to Andrea. All right, thank you, Kim. And we know it will be 